So what we're going to be doing in this session is you're going to take the material that you used in the last session, you're going to use your phones or your tablets, you're going to need to choose an app that resembles an instrument and then you're going to take each line that you sang in the last session and you're going to recreate that using the apps. You're probably going to need to think about some kind of rhythm to hold it all together, a bass line, some chords and then you're going to be able to sing uh, your selection of songs over the top. I was thinking I Jenny, sing over this. Okay. So show me what you've done so far. So you've got two yeah, tracks there, two stems. It's just the spark drums and just the guitar that I did the chords on. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. That's an awesome day. Um, I found it really fun because it was like you were sort of free to do whatever you want, like whatever um, instrument you wanted, and it was they were given like always the chords, and you just go away and choose what you want to do. Um, I liked it because you could just experiment and you could just like, you don't have to be able to do it and it can that kind of inspire you to play something. Did it inspire you? Uh, yeah, I want to kind of play in like the, dr uh, the guitar and, or drums now. But. So what's the equivalent here of these instruments of beatboxing? Well, someone should start off and then so you, someone start? can join in. So Ross, you're playing drums, you can start off with the drums. Would beats. the drums be one, two, three? Anything, but yeah, that sounds good. So I don't actually know if it is, but if the chords were actually the way that it is on the guitar, you could sort of like take a guitar and just learn it first on Garage Band, and then say just take it home and just practice it on an actual guitar. It's not about the money, money, money. Educational, it's a good way to help you learn without having to buy a proper instrument or something. And it, it may look like messing around, but if you stayed and heard or listened to what we were doing, then yeah, we not. The role of the teacher in this approach is no different to the role of the teacher in, in any Musical Futures approach. There's an awful lot of standing back and diagnosing and watching before you, you actually go into a group. And I think particularly in... in you know, an approach like this where I had no idea what was going to happen, couldn't really plan for, for anything that I was going to do. So it was very interesting and the students were so excited to show me what they'd done. Oh miss, look I've done this, oh look at that, look at that. And, and the other thing that I, I found just fantastic was that if they had a question about one of the apps they were using or something that they were trying out, they answered each other's questions before I even had time to answer it. I'm a mobile tech addict and I'm always fiddling with my phone whilst I'm talking to people and it's an incredibly bad habit and they're exactly the same. So it, I, I realised that I needed to have some catchphrases, some kind of things that I would keep saying. Turn off your tech was one of them that I found was quite a nice one. Also encouraging them that when they were not using it to either have it on the floor or under their chairs so that there was no way they were fiddling and that I knew they had, I had their full attention whilst giving them instructions, which is absolutely crucial. If they don't understand the task, it's going to fail before you've started. Um, or also if, if, if you're using the tech and then you need to stop for any reason, asking them to put it on their knees, put their hands on top of it so that visually I could see that they were all concentrating and focusing on me. Year sevens, I think, have to work very hard at learning to work independently as part of a group. That's one of the biggest learning curves I find in trying to adopt musical features approaches when they first join us at the school. They're absolutely not used to doing that. Um, 
So the introduction of allowing them to have their mobile phones out whilst they're working in a small group, again, was a bit of a concern for me. But I needn't have worried at all, and there were moments today where I didn't even need to be in the room because they were just so happy to be exploring it themselves and creating things. I also thought they'd be distracted by the apps and trying to work out how they were working and, and that kind of thing, but actually they weren't. They were very keen to complete the task. And I think the most important part about that was that they were trying to recreate something that they'd already sung. So they'd heard it, they'd sung it, they'd experienced it. And so it was a very logical next step for them to actually then recreate it and hear it played on something that resembled proper instruments and having all the added, um, the, the, the added bonuses of things that you can do with tech, adding effects, um, I think just made them even more enthusiastic to complete the task.